What's up? How you doing, man? Hey, Brother Chris. Nice How to see you. How are you, man? Oh, come here, come man. Come here. Oh, wow. Good to see you. Hey, thanks a lot for telling me. Logically, I'm like, this is what it says. I'm being released. But I'm in disbelief. And I was like, I need someone to confirm this. Finally, the next day, the counselor came and was like, oh, yeah, uh, by the way, you're going home on Monday. I was like, oh. Thank you very much. Just last week. It's confirmed. I said, it's confirmed. So he told me on Friday that I was being released. Wow. On Friday. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And uh, here I am on Monday. And, uh... <laughs> so, what's the plan for today? My plan was to visit College of the Americans. Sure, that's what I had to do. And then I really want to dip my feet in the water in the ocean. Oh wow. And I want to hug a redwood tree. Yeah, I want to hug a where's a redwood tree. And David's just been instrumental in you know the beginning of the program, whether it be his wisdom as far as like how for us to be successful, his enthusiasm, which is super contagious uh, just to be around him and just overall just a really genuine amazing person. Uh, I feel sad. Thank you for letting me be a part of your life. <laughs> You're way stuck way. with me. <laughs> Thank you for doing your Thousands of years of being here. It's so incredibly huge. It's connected to so many things. I heard like the underground, everything, like the whole ecosystem and the redwood forest, everything's connected. Trees, all the ferns. Yeah. And it's glorious. You are free! I dreamed about hugging a redwood one day. I dreamed about getting into the water, all the way into the water, not just the, yeah. And it happened. Yeah, and it happened. Come on. Honestly, uh, sometimes I feel like a CEO is gonna creep up on me, and be like, "Hey, when? Come here!" Like, it, I'm in disbelief that I'm actually here. But the longer I keep moving from spot to spot, the more firm I feel that I'm actually free. You know, um, and I'm. I keep getting pulled back to the prison, like in relation to where I'm at, like, all right, I'm here, but where's the prison at? Oh, so I'm south of it. Oh, I'm here at the Smith River, where's the prison at? Oh, and I keep getting pulled back to, you know, Pelican Bay, and it has such a strong attraction to me, and I'm like, all right, in relation to where I'm at right now, where's Pelican Bay? And it's like, get over it, I don't want to think of that no more, but I can't help but automatically do that. Yeah, that's interesting. So, it, it, yeah, it has, you know, um, has impacted me in a way where it's always going to be a piece of me. I gotta ask, you're checking these things off your list. What was going through your mind out there with your feet in the sand and the and the waves around your ankles? Look. As far as I can see, water. It's not a concrete wall in front of me. There's nothing obstructing my view, right? Being confined in those concrete walls. Yeah. Look how vast this ocean is. Nothing obscuring my view of it. My feet in the water, and I feel, I feel at peace. I felt at peace. 
got really cold. Yeah, I'm, like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna stay in there too long. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, words, words, words for the men you left behind. For the guys. For my brothers. You know. It's a different type of environment in there. We're always helping each other out. We're always encouraging each other, pushing each other. And I pray for the individuals in there that they continue to do that, help lift one another. Um, because it's easier to work as a team than it is to work as an individual. But individually, we have to do everything that we can to get out. So my prayers to my brothers in there is to continue pushing yourself day after day, slugging it through. You guys know, you guys know what you know. What's up? Because. You guys are doing it already. I can't wait to see you out here. Um, keep working hard, brothers. I'm out. <laughs>